Welcome back from the search for alien life to the secrets of how the solar system began. There's a lot going on at the Southwest Research Institute right now. Yeah, scientists gathered there for the Institute's 70th annual meeting this morning. KSO 12's Josh Skernick reports new discoveries could come as soon as next year. New Horizons is on its way to new discoveries deeper in the Kuiper Belt. The New Horizons satellite is hurling towards the farthest reaches of our solar system at 1 million miles per day to answer in part, where do we come from? The goal, to see an ancient Kuiper Belt object up close for the first time in January of next year. This object has likely been undisturbed where it lives in the outer solar system since the birth of our solar system more than 4 billion years ago. It really is a link to the distant past. It's just one of the projects creating buzz at Southwest Research Institute's 70th annual meeting today. It's definitely a practice of patience. It took New Horizons nine years to get to Pluto, and will take another three and a half to get to the Kuiper Belt, but at least they have a head start. A proposed mission to search for life will have to start here on Earth. We think that there is evidence for hydrothermal activity. Their satellite orbiting Saturn just burnt up in its atmosphere. But scientists want to go back to the moon Enceladus. They found hot vents in the oceans, a possible sign of life. We want to just try to answer this basic question. Was there a second origin of life anywhere in the solar system or universe? And so that's, even if there are microbes, that's scientifically astounding. They don't know what they will find. But getting there will surely be astronomical to watch. Josh Gurnick, KSAT 12 News.